Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today concludes our series on the winning formula. The winning formula. Nobody wants to lose in life. Everybody wants to win. And as a child of God, there is a formula for winning. Whenever you want to solve a mathematical problem, there is a formula. And if you follow that formula, you will get the desired results. As a child of God, the formula for winning in the kingdom of God is simply getting God on your side. If God be for us, who can be against us? David said in the book of Psalms, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what man can do to me. David won all battles of life. There was no battle that David was defeated because God was on his side. If the whole world is on your side and God is not on your side, you will still lose in life. God will not be for you. Neither will God be on your side until you accept certain principles and responsibilities because there are facilitators to move God to back you in every endeavor of life. The third and final formula to getting God to back you in life is giving sacrificially. Giving sacrificially. What does that mean? Sacrifice is something of value that you place on the altar of God for a divine turnaround. Giving sacrificially is one of the ways you can get God to be on your side, to back you in every endeavor of life. Because every time you take something of value to worship God, you will never be a washout in life. There is an interesting narrative in the 22nd chapter of the book of Genesis, where Abraham was told to go and sacrifice his son, his only son, Isaac, now, remember that God has already told Abraham, God has promised Abraham that in his seed, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Now, if God has given this promise to Abraham, why on earth would God ask Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, Isaac? But Abraham obeys anyway, as they got close to the mountain, where God has appointed to Abraham to sacrifice his son, Abraham said to his servant, Stay here with the donkeys. While I and the boy will go over there, we will worship, then we will come back to you. Friends, Abraham had been told to sacrifice his son. This is given sacrificially. Isaac is his only son. And in fact, God has promised Abraham that in Isaac, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Now he is about to sacrifice his son. By the time they got onto the mountain and he was about to slaughter his own son as a sacrifice for God, God showed up and provided a sacrificial lamb for the sacrifice that he has commanded Abraham to offer for him. Friends, any time you take your energy, your time, and your resources to worship God, that is sacrificial giving. And when you give sacrificially to God, it is bound to return to you a hundredfold. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus is recorded saying, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this life houses, brothers, sisters and mothers and children and lands and in the age to come eternal life. Friends, what Jesus is saying here is simple. He is saying that when we give our time, our money, and our resources 
to God and for the ministry of the church. God is saying that he will make sure that we get it back a hundredfold. Therefore, make sure that you are giving sacrificially by being part of using your money for the gospel of Jesus Christ to reach lost souls, to reach lost humanity for the kingdom of God. Friends, sacrificial giving to God, sacrificial giving to the church is the fastest way to getting God on your side for an abundance increase of blessing and his favor in your life. Let me pray for you before I leave you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we've had together. We thank you for helping us to learn what it means to get you on our side in this life. And so we pray that as we have learned about some of the ways that we can get you on our side to be successful in every endeavor of life, we pray that you continue to help us to learn what it means to serve you, what it means to win souls for your kingdom, and what it means to give sacrificially. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>